you'll be thrown one at a time in your group. But your, when I call group one, group one will come up here. Is everyone in our group one yeah. oh. Everyone in group one is a I don't know. Galvin and I haven't taken swimming lessons in North Harbor in June. <laughs> Treading water. Okay. Go. Okay. okay. Um, the force of gravity is present throughout the universe. It gives objects mass uh, and it causes them to fall. Uh, there's even gravity in space. Even the astronauts on the International Space Station, which is 400 kilometers above the Earth, feel the gravity. They experience 90% of Earth's gravity. The reason they don't fall is because their ship, their station is falling at the same rate as they are, but moving too fast in the atmosphere to actually fall into Earth. Um, the other, one of the other things on Earth, or uh, the reason we love gravity, is because it gives us a mass. Uh, the atmosphere on Earth allows us to breathe. It keeps us warm because it holds in its own heat, uh, and shields us from radiation from the sun. So what we're going to test today is we're going to test uh, what conditions might be like elsewhere, where even though they have gravity, it may not be exactly as it is on Earth, and they may not have mass. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and simulate conditions on uh, Mars and the Moon. Uh, but before we do that, we need to do uh, uh, any good science experiment needs a control. We want to know how a paper airplane flies on Earth. We've got lots of paper airplanes. Group one, uh, where's group one? Group one is going to come up here, uh, one at a time. Each take an airplane. Um, give it a toss. Okay, where's my group leader? Okay. Uh, what was your name again? Rebecca. Rebecca. Rebecca, you're just going to uh, record the distance of each member of the group. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. So uh, one, two.
Everybody in here?
six. Yep. Or is that from five? That's from six. That's from six? Okay, good. Okay. Um, hey, let's have a hand for the so uh, we all kind of have an idea of uh, what a uh, paper airplane flies like under regular conditions, right? Yeah. Okay, so how would the conditions be different if we were throwing these paper airplanes on the moon? Anybody know what the atmosphere or what the environment is like on the moon? There's no atmosphere. That is important. There's less gravity. And there's less gravity. So those are the two things that we're looking at: atmosphere and gravity. Um, so what we had to do is we had to design planes that would simulate uh, a flight without atmosphere, without gravity. Okay, so uh, are things lighter or heavier on the moon? Lighter. They're lighter. So we actually would have to make these planes lighter. So the planes that you guys were just drawing, um, some of you helped make them so you would know, uh, have, are made of two sheets of paper. They're double the weight of the uh, planes we're going to be throwing on the moon. Now, that's what we can make planes lighter. That's the easy part. How can we simulate um, no atmosphere? Uh, how come no wings, Liam? Um, why, do, why do planes have wings? So they can catch air. So they can catch air, right? Uh, wings create lift. Wings sit on air. So. Um, an airplane on the moon would have nothing to sit on, would have no need of wings. So that's what we did. We cut the wings off of our plane. Now we're going to see how they fly. Um, so group one we'll start with. And we're going to see how these planes uh, with that wings will fly. Now, remember guys, we're testing uh, the planes, we're not testing your throwing arms, so we're going to use the same motion uh, as we did for the first set. Okay. Everybody from group two. No. Oh, Dave.
good. Uh, great job, group three. Group four, six. <laughs> the Mars plane, guys, did you notice any differences between the, the, the plane representing Earth and the plane representing the moon? The moon one seemed to go further. Any reason why that would, you would think Less that? Less drag. Less drag. What about the direction of the flight? Do you guys kind of notice the way the, or the path of the plane go? This These are probably straight. Um, things to think about, because we'll be talking about uh, exactly the flat axis. But um, next is the. Um, the last set of planes are supposed to represent conditions on Mars. So they might know the environment on Mars. <laughs> Similar to Earth. Um, what what two things are we talking about? Um, the atmosphere. Okay, so there's yeah. Got the atmosphere on Mars is a lot thinner than on Earth. Um, the gravity is compared. Okay, so when we design a plane to represent Mars, we use two sheets like we did with Earth. So the weight will be compared. 
there on the page a little less. What we did was to represent a, a thinner atmosphere was we cut the planes. Now there is an atmosphere on Mars. It's not like the moon. There's no there's, there's, the moon has zero atmosphere. So um, we didn't cut off all the weight. We just cut off most of it. Um, the weight should be the same as a little less because we're taking off the weight of part of the wing. Um, and we're just going to see how uh, a paper airplane might fly on Mars. So starting with group one. Good job, we're doing great playing, guys.
Groups. Take a second to look at your data. Uh, there are answers on. Actually, what we'll probably do is we'll go over the answers as, a, uh, as one big group. Are we Oh, the mean? You don't, uh, actually, no, we just want to look at general trends. We don't want to see the specific Okay. So um, we're just going to go over the answers. I want you guys to uh, or go over these questions on the back. Maybe take a minute. Shh. Guys, maybe take a minute. The group leaders have these sheets. Okay, the sheets have questions on the back of them. Uh, talk over with the group and see what you guys think the answers are. I don't want to necessarily, uh, you don't necessarily have to write down the answer. We're going to do that as a, uh, a bigger group in a second, but just uh, uh, try to form an opinion on these right now. Yeah, that's it. Uh, 